same way. <laughs> I feel the same way. Lewis. Steven. My friends. Not me, bro. Lewis, I, I, I think that's Lewis. I can't tell behind those Foster well, Grants. Is I that mean, you, I actually? Can, we can actually, we'll just, uh... You know, whatever you want to do. You can it keep it, you keep it as cool and as chill as you want. I just want to make sure I was talking to Lewis Cato for a second. <laughs> behind your disguise. Um, we got uh, some amazing uh, guests on tonight. We have the musician yeah. Alex G, an incredible Alex young G. musician. Yeah. Yeah. The young people are very excited. And I don't want to brag, not everybody gets this guy. Mr. George Clooney is here. Mr. George Clooney, right there. Right there. <laughs> I'm telling you. <laughs> I said hi. I said, I, said, I said hi to George backstage. And there's just such a... There's just such a radiance of charm that comes off the man. Wow, really? Everybody in the front row should have sunglasses or else the retinas are going to be burned out. Oh. He's just, you know, you go, oh, how handsome could George Clooney be? More handsome than you remember. Every time. You know what I mean? Every time. He is a lump of just, uh, uh, just sexy plutonium. <laughs> anyway, he's going to be right there in just a minute. Smells good, too. Does he smell good? Oh, smells amazing. It wafts. Does it, yeah. like, does it, does it smell like his tequila? <laughs> Yeah, it's like if you took like a tequila and rubbed it into like a, a baseball glove. <laughs> so it's kind of a masculine, Ooh. leathery smell, Ooh. something like that. Yeah. I wonder how George feels about this description of him. <laughs> Good, I hope. We'll find out. It's meant to be very positive. Um, <laughs> folks, where am I? Right here. Uh, before one other thing, I want to just congratulate our friends over at CBS Mornings. They won a news Emmy last night. Oh, wow. Outstanding live news program. Come on. Congratulations. In the, in the 43th Annual News and Documentary Emmy Awards, congratulations to Gail, uh, Tony, and Nate, uh, everybody over there at CBS News. And I, I can't believe they beat John Oliver. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you Folks, I spend most of my time right over there shucking oysters freshly flown in from the Damaris Cota River in Maine. Serving them with fresh sliced feminello lemons and a mignonette of Napa Valley red vinegar and finely diced shallots for the Michelin starred raw bar platter that is my nightly monologue. But sometimes, <laughs> just sometimes, folks, I wake up in a rusty dinghy in the Meadowlands, feverishly paw through the sludge for any mud caked creature that's too full of heavy metals to wriggle out of my grasp and <laughs> serve it with a dipping sauce of two parts hard lemonade and one part crushed Ativan for the bargain bin sushi of news that is my segment. Meanwhile... That's it. They know it. They love it. Ask for it by name. It's meanwhile. Meanwhile, there's been a big development in the world of hot beverages. A new study says drinking several cups of coffee every day can help you live longer and... It was published in the European Journal of Preventive Cardiology. Oh, you gotta love those continental scientists. <sighs> Coffee, wine, cigarettes, taking a new lover. <laughs> All very good for the heart. As we say in France, a threesome a day keeps the doctor away. <laughs> unless, unless, of course, the doctor is in the threesome. I'm writing you a prescription for vitamin sex. <laughs> Take orally. <laughs> Meanwhile, according to another recent study, people experienced some key personality changes during the pandemic. What do you mean? Shut up, I'm fine! <laughs> Apparently, there was a significant decline in extroversion, openness, agreeableness, particularly in young adults. I don't get it. At the start of 2020, he was a sweet 10-year-old. Three years later, he's a sweaty, moody teenager. <laughs> the pandemic gave my boy B.O. <laughs> That's not all. Parents of teenagers out there. That's not all. Researchers discovered that across the board, neuroticism also increased. I think they mean you. 
everyone's so disappointed in you. You need to get your together. <laughs> to conduct this study, researchers surveyed more than 7,000 people aged 18 to 109. <laughs> Come on! Interviewing a 109-year-old? What do I do with my time? Well... Mostly, I spend a lot of time indoors watching TV, isolated from other people. Was this about a pandemic? <laughs> Are the Spaniards spreading their flu again? <laughs> Remember the main! <laughs> Meanwhile, speaking of health, yesterday, the FDA announced a new definition of what's healthy. Pear-shaped hips and translucent skin. Pear-shaped hips and translucent skin. Come on. <laughs> to make it easier for consumers to tell what's healthy and what's not, the FDA is considering using labels based on traffic lights. For instance, green is healthy, red is unhealthy, and yellow is shove it in your mouth as fast as you can. You can make it! <laughs> we'll be right back with George Clooney.